Good evening to our guests here in Wuhan, and a very good morning to our guests in the United States. I know it's the early morning time. I want to thank you very much for joining this uh, cross-nation uh, medical consultant meeting uh, today. Well, I'm, my name is Xu Jin. I'm the reporter of China Global TV Network, and uh, we are very glad to organize this uh, uh, consultant, uh, the medical consultation meetings between the experts of two countries. And I'm very pleased to uh, have five uh, traditional Chinese medicine experts uh, from uh, various places. Uh, they're all in Wuhan uh, helping the local colleagues to fight the coronavirus, uh, namely COVID-19, and trying to save lives of our patients. And uh, I'm extremely pleased we certainly honored to have uh, Mr. Zhang Boli, the academician of the China Academy of Engineering. So first of all, I would like to invite Mr. Zhang to uh, brief us about the current situation and uh, their treatment of the patient in Wuhan. Zhang Yanzhi, please give us a brief report. Hello, all friends. This 中国的中医药诊疗的参与度和广度都是前所未有的。四千一名中医医务人员奔赴一线参与救治，中医结合疗法取得了确切的疗效。截止到目前，在全国确诊的病例中，中医药治参与治疗的病例达到了百分之九十
plan with Chinese characteristic, which is uh, integrated treatment with TCM, which is traditional Chinese medicine and uh, Western therapies. Uh, it is, has proven to be effective in the fight against coro uh, coronavirus, and actually 95% 90 90 of them use integrated treatment, and uh, this has uh, helped a lot to in reducing the, the spread and uh, curbing the virus spread. And this time we brought uh, six uh, medicines, or actually three patented Chinese drugs and three uh, prescriptions or uh, potions. The uh, first drug I would like to introduce is called Qinghua Qinggan Granule. Uh, it was actually uh, introduced in, in 2009 uh, when the H1N1 epidemic broke out. And it was, uh, it's a prescription, a combination of like two, actually two ancient prescriptions from Zhang, Zhang, Zhong, Zhang Zhongjing and uh, uh, so, so there are two ancient Chinese uh, like TCM pra practitioners. So they combined the, the, uh, uh, their prescriptions and create a new one. That's the drug. 这个药呢，在治疗轻症和普通型的新冠的患者中呢，有确切的疗效。它表现出可以缩短退热的时间，而淋巴细胞、白细胞、腹肠率显著提高，转重率明显的下降。has proven effective among uh, patients with mild uh, and or ordinary symptoms. It has a really good effect in reducing fever and uh, creating more Y cells uh, to help the patient's immune system. And uh, actually, it has done a great deal from uh, helping the patients from getting, uh, prevent the patients from getting worse. Yanhachinga 二十七的研究，临床对照的研究，显示它在发热、咳嗽、乏力这方面的消失的时间分别缩短了，和对照组比呢，有明显的优势，特别是它的核酸的转阴、CT影像好转方面也有明显的变化。uh, the second drug I want to introduce is uh, Lianhua Qinggan capsule. Uh, its uh, effect is to reduce the heat and uh, detox the human body's uh, pathogen. And we've done uh, research on 284 patients. Uh, it's actually an RCT study. Uh, have two control groups, and it has shown great effects uh, in uh, CT scans and also uh, the, the fever re reduction. Uh, actually, the two, uh, one of the groups has shown a great uh, improvement uh, after the uh, medicine was applied.
已经列入了我们国家西医通道他们的治疗的方案当中。Uh, the third one I want to introduce is called Xue Bi Jing Injection. It was uh, uh, developed in 2003 uh, during our fight against uh, SARS virus. Uh, it was used in severe and critical conditions this time uh, to help the patients uh, cure uh, uh, pyemia. And uh, so th this helps with the inflammation of the, humans, uh, of the patient's body. And it's uh, introduced into the latest uh, uh, treatment uh, guidelines. 除了这三个中成药以外，我们这回还推出了三张处方，就是协定处方。特别是有一张方子叫清肺排毒汤，这是由国家中医管理局和我们国家卫健委联合推崇的一个基础方。这个方子呢，它是由四个中医的名方来构成，一个是麻杏石甘汤，还有一个是小柴胡汤。还有个是舌干麻黄糖，还是一个五苓散，是由这个四味药来构成的。宣方一共二十一味药，它主要的在改善新冠的发热、咳嗽、乏力这几个症状方面有明确的效果，并且可以促进肺的影像学的改变、肺部炎症的吸收。而基础研究也做了比较多，它可以调控多条细胞因子的活化通路，对多个重要的器官可以起到保护的作用。所以它这次用的也比较广泛。我们已经在，哎呦，太多了，您您翻译一下吧，没事。呃、uh, uh, ，right， uh, Dr. Jan says， um。Uh, one of the uh, prescriptions we use this time is called Qing Fei Pai Du uh, uh, Potion. Actually, it was combined by four potions and used uh, 21 herbs, and it's uh, really effective in reducing fever, coughing, and fatigue, and symptoms like this, which is really common, uh, commonly seen in uh, coronavirus patients. And uh, also, we've reached some great results in CT scans and uh, reducing lungs. <laughs> inflammation and protecting major organs. So it's, it's been widely used in the fight against COVID-19 this time. Through the country, there are 10 states, 66 states, 1,245 patients of COVID-19. There are 919 states of COVID-19. There are 45 states of COVID-19. There are 141 states of COVID-19. 有六十六例，这个症状没有加重，但是也没有好转。症状主的改善率达到百分之九十四，所以这个处方呢用的在全国比较多。OK， 呃、uh, uh, ，Right， 呃、uh, ，So the prescription was used in、uh, ten provinces across the nation, and uh, uh, we we've done a study um on uh, uh, 1,245 patients, uh, 919 of them have recovered, and 45 uh, have their symptoms, uh, I think the symptoms are getting back to normal, and, and 414 have improved symptoms, uh, 66 uh, remains unchanged, so the effective rate uh, is around 94%. Twitter 就是病人由轻症转为重症的比例明显的下降，特别是像这个我们这个方子在方舱的五百六十四例患者中，服用这个方子没有一例转为重症的，就是一个证据。我就简单介绍这个这点情况。Okay, here comes the two uh, potions. 
prescriptions. And one is called uh, Hua Shi Bai Du Potion. Uh, uh, it's developed by uh, the Chinese Academy of Sciences. And uh, another one is called Xuan Fei Bai Du Potion, uh, developed by uh, Dr. Liu Jingquan and Dr. Zhang Boli. Uh, they have both proven effective, and uh, have both been proven effective in RCT tests and also in the uh, studies in uh, temporary hospitals among those patients. Uh, they've all shown significant uh, results, and actually uh, among the 564 patients in makeshift hospitals, uh, none of them had uh, uh, their symptoms worsen. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Professor Zhang, uh, thank you. Uh, I, th I think uh, uh, I think uh, the, the the all the results are quite uh, very encouraging. Even though I, I don't quite understand those special terms in that presentation, uh, but I'm still uh, being uh, uh, very much encouraged, uh, and I believe that uh, uh, many of our patients are, are also uh, being encouraged as well. Uh, so. Uh, I think uh, from now on we better yes. start our question and answer section. And before that, I'd like to, because this is, is being live streamed on the internet, I'd like to say, say a word to our friends on the internet. If you have any questions for doctors and COVID-19 experts, please leave them in our FB Facebook comment section below, or use hashtag my opinion on COVID-19 to share your views. CGTN will take your questions to the professionals and discuss them in the upcoming live stream. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, Dr. Shah, uh, yes. I think uh, it's time for the question and answer sections. Uh, so I think the experts from our side would like to take your question. Okay, so I will start first. Okay, my first question is, that from observation of U.S. population, the higher risk of populations are elder, immune compromised patients, or people with chronic disease. Kids has less risk to develop COVID-19. Usually from TCM perspective, people who have strong constitution have better chance to fight over external pathogen. However, for those severe cases, uh, which the COVID-19 patients uh, immune system uh, overreact and uh, produce cytokine storm. So how do you think about the body constitution play the role in terms of survival and the recovering rate? Dr. Zhang? <laughs> okay, that's my first question. Uh, can, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, do you, did you hear my um, question? Can I make it um, clear? You want to ask uh, uh, for the severe coronary uh, pneumonia, how they survive? Yeah, because uh, right? usually for the, T, uh, for the TCM perspective, the body constitution, mm -hmm. teacher, okay. uh, have, yes, the, the people who have the uh, strong body constitution, they have better chance to fight over the external pathogen. So, uh, I mean, the uh, the people who have the better immunity, they might uh, they are easier to fight against the virus. But the thing is, that for the severe cases of COVID-19, the patient's immune system they overreact and they produce the cytokine storm. And how do you think, how do you think about the body constitution plays the role in the terms of survival and the recovering rate? Okay, um, yeah. I, I try to answer that. So, mm -hmm. uh, according to TCM basic theory, uh, they recommend that the darkness evil is the basic pathogenesis of COVID-19. And uh, according to the epi epidemiology of COVID-19, all the people are susceptible especially the elderly with the chronic uh, basic diseases. And for the um, 
Japanese constitution. Uh, I mean, COVID-19 patients with uh, uh, Japanese constitution, they are easily to become severe because according to the basic theory of TCM, uh, we think Japanese evil belong to yin evil. Okay, yin evil can damage yang qi, uh, that belong to healthy qi. And uh, also the characteristic of Japanese evil is uh, sticky and uh, lingering. And uh, uh, when Japanese evil stagnates in our, our body for a long time, uh, it will induce heat. And the uh, heat and uh, that evil entangle with each other. So it's just like a, a fight, a battle between healthy qi and uh, Japanese evil. So side case storm, also we can, in another word, inflammation storm. It's uh, the strong uh, novel coronavirus defeat our immune system. So uh, TSM think is a fight between the healthy qi and the toxic evil. So when toxic evil is very strong, it's uh, entangled with the heat and uh, damage our healthy qi and also block the qi stagnation, uh, block qi mechanism, so which will defeat our healthy qi and it will make, make our body maybe class. That we are the novel corona pneumonia versus rapidly. So we call that uh, inflammation storm. So how TCM do to make the people, make the patient to survive the severe, the severe symptoms? We should uh, first uh, help our body to strengthen our healthy qi, to enhance our resistance. And also, we use herbs to eliminate the Japanese evil. So just like um, help our body to fight the enemy. So uh, that's TCM theory, and that's our method. Uh, I, 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 I wonder if this answer is what you want. Can I make it, okay. can I make it clearly? Uh, yes, yes, okay. So, um, and another question, so, uh, so uh, how can we understand this kind of cytokine storm in the TCM perspective? Because one thing, because Dr. Zhang just mentioned the Shibiji injection, well, which is not allowed in the United States. So we need to have made our own decoction to have the similar function as the Shibiji injection. And okay. Okay. So, and is it, is it, so yes, the injection will have the similar function with like the decoction we might prescribe because only the decoction granule capsule is allowed in the United States. Okay, the injection is, okay. is illegal. Okay, that's a very good question. Maybe I try to answer it again. So, CBT uh, injection is very effective, and uh, if it is not available in USA, uh, so I want to introduce our resolution. So, I come from China Academy of Chinese Medical Sciences, and uh, we are the first uh, team of TCM arrived in Wuhan, and uh, we worked in Xinhai Hospital for almost two months. Um, so when we focus on treating the patients, our backup teams in Beijing help us together to analyze the data collecting from the clinical. So just like uh, by our treatment at the same time of uh, his occasion. So as a result of uh, our work, uh, our team work, Hua Shi Bai Du formula is, uh, uh, is what we present to the worldwide. Okay, that's just uh, you want to uh, represent Xie uh, Bujing injection. So Hua Shi Bai Du uh, prescription 
uh, is derived from uh, several Chinese classical prescriptions and also our clinical experience on treating COVID-19. Uh, so our team thought uh, the basic pathogenesis of COVID-19 is darkness. So um, we, we think if we treat uh, the pneumonia just like uh, just like a football match. So we use uh, 14 herbs to form, you, to, to form a prescription. Uh, some drugs, some herbs are responsible for clearing uh, the lung heat. Uh, just like the center front uh, players in the, in the field. And uh, some herbs are responsible for uh, resolving the darkness and the tonifying splinch uh, act like the middle, uh, middle uh, mid theater uh, who connect the whole team. And also the rust herbs are responsible for um, promoting blood circulation and the detoxification. So also Hua Shi Beidu prescription uh, targets um, strengthen our resistance uh, enhance our body, uh, our body's he healthy qi. So together, so first uh, we uh, defeat the darkness evil, and second, at the same time, we strengthen our body resistance. That's our theoretical, um, the theoretical guiding idea, and uh, we also made uh, 75 patients, severe, severe COVID-19 patients in Jintai Hospital, and also 452 uh, mild patients in the mobile ca cabinet hospital. And all the results showed that Hua uh, Shi prescription can reduce the time of negative transmission of a nucleic acid and can improve the symptoms. And uh, at the same time, we make the basic experimental uh, tests and the results show that Hua uh, Shi formula can reduce the pulmonary virus load by 30% and also can improve pulmonary inflection significantly. So, uh, if you can, if the Xie Bijing injection is not available, so I think Hua uh, Shi prescription is a very good choice. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. That's all my question. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. A few questions. Uh, this is Yi Shan Hu uh, from Nebraska. I'm the current president of. Uh, Nebraska acupuncture at the Oriental Medicine Association, and also I'm the owner of uh, uh, evidence-based origin clinic, and also owner of um, uh, Yuha Herbs. Um, so I basically have a few questions. It really is for my patients. So uh, in United States currently, uh, especially in the Middle West, so uh, the TCM the role is mainly for like a prevention or probably mainly like uh, herbs and maybe a little bit of acupuncture and uh, max posture. I'm um, sorry, should I stop for the translation or I keep talking? Or? <laughs> Hello? Let me try to answer this question about uh, who, yeah. Uh, sure, so yeah, um, my question is that should I stop for your translation or I can uh, finish my question and then you can translate? Uh, I think you can finish your question. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Uh, so basically, the uh, so we see a lot of patients here. So you can see on the back side, we use a lot of herbal tea and herbal capsules. Uh, so currently, uh, most of the patients come to visit us is basically just for prevention. So they might not get a diagnosis yet, especially in the Middle West. We are at Nebraska currently, we only have 44 
uh, diagnosis that with COVID-19 patients. So when they see us, so it's mostly they may have a little bit itching throat, or maybe had a little bit cough, maybe have, uh, usually not had a fever. So the question, the, my first question is that, uh, 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 Dr. John, uh, thanks very much for your time. Uh, this is a lifetime to uh, take your time to uh, share the experience with us. So my first question is that, uh, so Dr. John, uh, Dr. John mentioned six prescriptions, uh, six for performance. So which one is probably the best for those kind of uh, a prevention purpose, just for the patient that don't, they are not diagnosed, most probably just a little bit flu, those kind of conditions, uh, which format is the best for them? This is my first question. Uh, the second question is that, uh, uh, Dr. John mentioned that, uh, so four key points, the early um, discovery, uh, early separation, early diagnosis, and early treatment. So I suppose, uh, in, so most of the patients probably, uh, Dr. John C, uh, C probably is in, at least in the second uh, so early separation. So for those separation patients, uh, we probably can pay, play some roles in the United States uh, with herbs. So for this separation, for the, they just diagnosis, but only have very slight symptoms. So we might have some roles, or we can yeah, maybe deliver some herbal tea to them, maybe not see them in our clinic, but we can deliver some herbal tea to them. So my, the, usually the question patients ask, will ask is, is, is there any drug herb interaction? So maybe usually they will take some West medicine treat, treatment, maybe uh, antivirus drugs, maybe supportive drugs. Uh, so the, usually with the question we got from patients is that, oh, is there any drug herb interaction? So when you take the herb tea, when you take herb capsules, will that affect my West medicine treatment? Is it good or bad or synergistic or antigistic? This is my second question. Uh, the third question, so usually we will uh, get asked from patients that, uh, uh, so which type of herb formula is better in terms of granule and herb decoction? Uh, it's just uh, a, uh, so that's kind of my question. Thanks very much. Well, thank you. Uh, excuse me, uh, Dr. Wu, thank you very much for your question. I, I know that's uh, very important and uh, uh, quite informative, but uh, uh, please, uh, Please notice that we don't have much time, and uh, we better leave more time. Sorry, for... <laughs> I think a little bit, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, we still have two more uh, um, presidents waiting to hello? raise their questions. Okay, all right. Okay, please. Okay, I'll be your answer. There's some the lagging there. Can you hear me? Okay, I think the first question is for the patients who are not definitely diagnosed the COVID-19 but with maybe some symptoms on typical. So uh, for the patients maybe have the symptom fatigue with uh, some um, gastrointestinal discomfort, we recommend Huxiang uh, Zheng Qi oral liquid or Huxiang Zheng Qi capsule. And um, if have some symptoms just like uh, fatigue and uh, with a sore throat, or fever, or cough, uh, we can recommend Lianhua uh, Qingwen uh, capsule or Xinhua Qingga granule. Okay, that's the first question. Uh, and uh, the second question, uh, I think uh, uh, you want to ask is. Um, the definite COVID-19 patient, but only with mild, uh, mild <coughs> symptoms. I think it's the similar answer with the first question because we uh, TSM don't focus on the virus. We focus on the disease. What's more, we focus on the disease of the people. So uh, I think we can also choose uh, the Chinese patent when the patients have only mild symptoms, only need isolate at home mm -hmm. and uh, take TCM herbs, I think that's enough. We, we are online? Yes, we are still online. Yeah, yes. we can hear you. 
Okay, uh, Dr. Sha, we are, we're waiting for more questions from your side. So, what's the third question? I, 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 can I make it clear or some professors can answer that? Dr. Hu, are you with us? Yeah, yeah, I was cut off a little bit, so... <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you can you can you say again uh, your your third question? Uh, yeah. Basically, I have three questions. The first question is uh, the third uh, one. We just want the third one. Six uh, formulas. Uh, which one is the best? Probably for just for patient uh, uh, prevention, that not a diagnosis. That they might just have a little bit flu, common flu, or other symptoms. Just uh, yeah, which one? Like cough. Probably mostly is like that symptom. My second question is that uh, don't observe any drug herb interaction. It's good or bad. The third question is that uh, which herb formula is granule, the curly tea, or the decoction, the tongue tea, which uh, herb formula is a little relatively better or kind of the same efficacy? Okay. Okay, got it. Thank you very much. Curly tea or tongue tea, which is better? This potion is better than uh, granule. Okay, thank you. More questions? Uh, Dr. Shah and Dr. <coughs> Shah, are you with us? Yes, yes. All right. uh, the internet seems a little bit... A bit oh. slow. The network is, uh, yes, uh, always has problems. Uh, and uh, we'd like to have questions from the two ladies. If they are still online. Yes. Uh, Dr. Liz, it's your time to ask questions. Um, my questions are really following up with what you were asking. Like, we're very limited in what we can do. I work in a hospital system. Um, you know, so our hospital systems here are not using Chinese herbal therapies. Um, there is some opportunity in some cases to do some acupuncture, and I think, you know, unless you guys have come up with something new, I mean, the, the point choices are rather obvious. Um, but I, I guess I didn't, I didn't hear what the answers would be in terms of um, preventative options for patients, um, suggestions that they could, they could get from one of our local dispensaries or pharmacies. Um, and I am really curious about the drug or verbal interactions because what we do know is that the people who are most at risk are people with comorbidities. So people with diabetes, COPD, heart disease, people who are on a lot of medication. Um, I don't believe that in China people maybe take as much prescription medication as they do here in the United States. And that is always a great concern with uh, patients seeking herbal um, medicines. So th those questions I would really like to be able to get the answers to. I think those are the best questions. to treat uh, the COVID-19 uh, patients. Uh, in order to ensure that uh, acupuncture treatment is safe, uh, we use uh, tubular uh, acupuncture therapy. It can, uh, it can reduce patient's anxiety and uh, improve the smoothness of treatment. And also, I think uh, you, you see some, some people also have diabetes and high 
pressure. And we also can use acupuncture and with the add and abstract. And they also can treat this disease, I think. Maybe Dr. Zhou can say something about these acupuncture in details. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Wang. And according to uh, different patients, uh, different syndrome, uh, maybe we will choose different uh, acu acupoints. Uh, maybe I, I will uh, take an example. Uh, when we meet someone uh, with the service of grief, uh, we can choose some uh, acu acupoints like the Tai Si and San Yin Jiao and Kok Jui. Uh, which can tonify the uh, def uh, deficiency of qi. Uh, so uh, we can uh, see the uh, uh, improving of the shortness of breathing. And also we can use the acupoint uh, massage and other uh, like the badant exercise to uh, help the patient uh, recovery. Uh, especially the uh, like the Padanji exercise, and uh, they are useful in physician practice uh, and are all helpful for the rehabilitation uh, of patients. Uh, when the patient finishes the uh, exercise, they will feel good and uh, they, will, uh, they will feel the fetish was improved. Uh, so that's all. Okay. Uh, Dr. Phyllis, it's your time to ask question. Oh, I'm sorry, I've been in a chat with, so I don't think I would be the best. I have, have all my notes right now, I apologize, but thank you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. Uh, can I add one question? Yes, please. Sure, thank you. Uh, we talk about acupuncture to treat those kind of, uh, use those acupoints uh, to treat the COVID-19. So uh, do, you, do you think maybe Mark uh, the uh, could, could be used uh, to help with the increased uh, immune system functional or for uh, treat uh, the COVID-19? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Wang. Uh, thank you, Dr. Zhou. Uh, thank you, Dr. Wang. Thank you, Dr. Zhou. Uh, thank you, Dr. Wang. Thank you, Dr. Zhou. Uh, thank you, Dr. Wang. Thank you, Dr. Zhou. We can make it. Uh, uh, do you want to ask acupuncture and massage on COVID nineteen? Uh, so about Mark uh, Mark's question, it's I. Do you? Yes. On prevention and the treatment of COVID nineteen. Yeah, prevention. Okay, pre prevention. Maybe. I do. Because in the hospital, there are limited resources. These patients are all with the COVID nineteen. 它非呃咳嗽非常高，所以拿这个艾灸以后啊，它这个刺激呢更容易咳嗽，咳嗽以后就容易排毒，所以一般的艾灸用的比较少。我们现在艾灸都是用在这个恢复期的患者。Okay, Dr. Zhang says, uh, moxibustion. Uh, the usage is quite limited in uh, the hospital because uh, there's smoke and the the patients are already having symptoms like coughing. And when, when smoke is uh, in, in the room, it must be a, a little bit better and worse for the patients to to breathe in. And uh, while the, the patients are coughing, they will release more virus into the air. So uh, we don't recommend that in the hospitals right now. Uh, but it's used in uh, for patients who are recovering right now. Yes, I think that I do is um, very useful in the prevention by enhancing our body resistance and also very, very effective in the recovery phase, phases. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, our guests uh, mm -hmm. from the US side, uh, since we're still live streaming this dialogue, this, this uh, consultant, consultation meeting, uh, so I would like to take uh, just one or two minutes two minutes uh, to answer the questions from the internet, all right, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, 
Actually, Daisy Gimeno, uh, Gimeno uh, a friend from the Facebook, asks us, uh, are they willing to share the elements of their medicines if it is traditional? Uh, I, I'm afraid the elements refer to the elements of the prescription, is that right? Uh, does it only mean that herbs are being used? or it is only acupuncture. So uh, I, I think uh, the second question has already been answered uh, because uh, our experts from the Chinese side has already uh, presented a few names of the medicines. Uh, but the first one, uh, uh, which concerns to the uh, uh, very traditional things uh, in the traditional Chinese medicine field. So, so would any of our expert like to take that question. The question is, are they willing to share the elements of their medicines if it is traditional? Um, yes. Uh, so sometimes I just want to see, you know me or you don't know me, I just exist in, I just exist in my way. So it's always a, a big difficulty for TCM uh, to explain TCM in the language of vast medicine. So everybody wants to the evidence-based medicine. I think that's, that's okay. So up to now, uh, we already done some uh, clinical observations and RCT observations, and that's our evidence-based evidence medicine, but the results are still under statistics and um, some literature and some paper already um, published uh, in our uh, in our in, in China and um, maybe some uh, high level paper uh, will be published in future uh, in SCR paper. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, all right, Dr. Shine, Dr. Hu, please continue with your question. Uh, uh, excuse me, can, can, you, uh, can you see me again? Because the, is, I guess the internet is lagging. Hello, sorry. I was kind of uh, Can you repeat the question again? Repeat the question? No, no. Uh, oh, well. We are willing to take your question. Okay, so uh, let's see. Oh, it's also one of very important things because usually according to the American culture and the CDC's advice, people in the United States, they just don't wear facial masks. Even when the President Trump has just declared the national emergency. And so, and even with the people who was confirmed COVID-19 with mild symptoms, they didn't go to the hospital in the quarantine zone. They just did stay at home to do self-quarantine. Is there any way that TCM can help to treat this mild symptom of COVID-19 or help people to prevent to get infected and also protect ourselves because the patient come because the first stage of the COVID-19 is asymptomatic, symptomatic. So which means that our acupuncturists are very have very high risk to expose to those people who got the uh, infection. So any way we can protect ourselves? Uh, let me uh, you answer your question, Dr. Shah. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I heard um, President Trump uh, called the United States to has uh, got a national emergency. Um, but I still can't find, uh, just like you, have to have, wear the mask. Um, so uh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I, wear a mask, also wash hands and avoid go to the crowded. Uh, it's very important for China to control the, the COVID-19. After taking the above measures, the effect is significant. Uh, and also in traditional Chinese medicine, we thought enhance the vital chi, immunity, 
to achieve the purpose of prevention. Maybe it's okay. We can use herb medicine. We also can use acupuncture. Also Chinese Qigong like Ba Duan Jing, like Liu Zijue, uh, like Tai Chi. It is especially and important for you to enhance your immunity. Maybe they are all the bad things, all the good things to prevent the COVID-19. Um, Dr. Satin, uh, uh, you talk about the prevention uh, about the uh, medical uh, uh, nurse or the uh, medicine. So in our country, we have strict uh, regulations. Uh, so they, these uh, COVID-19 patients must be uh, admitted to uh, des designated uh, hospitals. During the uh, physician uh, practice, like consultation and uh, operation or treatment. So doctors should uh, at least wear the mask and uh, do carefully hand hygiene and wear the uh, uh, protected uh, clothing. And I think the clinic should be also uh, disinfected uh, with the 75% uh, alcohol, uh, chlorine, uh, chlorine uh, containing uh, 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 factors and uh, UV, uh, UV uh, disinfection, I think. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't wear the facial mask because in our mind that usually the doctors wear the facial mask to prevent our germs to the patient. So the patient will scare with the doctor who wear the facial mask. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, hi, Janice Burvey, you can ask a question. Janice, can you hear us? All right, uh, I'm afraid the uh, network has some uh, problems and uh, uh, please don't mind if I take uh, one or two more minutes to answer the questions from the internet. Huh? Uh, uh, Mpath or Vellum uh, on the Facebook asks, how many people survived after using the medicine you recommended? Uh, I think that has been answered at the very beginning, uh, but I'm afraid uh, there are a lot more people uh, coming to this live stream in the middle of the live stream. So, uh, would any expert today would like to take that question? How many people survived after using the medicine? Um, or a, w what is the percentage uh, of the people uh, recover, recovering after using the uh, medicine recommended at the beginning of this presentation? I think it's a big uh, question <laughs> because uh, we don't have the uh, authoritative uh, uh, data. But uh, I can just talk about uh, uh, our team works, and uh, I think it's uh, mm, just like uh, Dr. John said, the efficacy rate uh, is over 80%, and the participation rate of TCM is over 90%. Uh, it's, uh, so you, you can see the results, they are uh, control the COVID-19 battle. And I think that's the most, uh, uh, how to see, it is the evidence, the strong evidence of TCM. Okay, great, thank you very much. One more question from uh, Roger Richard. Uh, uh, on the uh, Facebook, can Ling Chi? Oh, sorry, I I I won't read these difficult names. I, I, I will I will I will carry my computer to to you and to let you recognize how you read these special terms. You just want to know that uh, whether these kind of traditional Chinese herbs are useful. I just don't know how to pronounce it. 
Can you recognize uh, Lin, that? I think that's Lin Jin. That's Ren Shen. Is that a Jin Shen? Ren Shen. So what about this one? Can you recognize Jin Shen? That one? I think that's Latin language. Oh, that's Latin. So that's not traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, it, it is, but we don't know. It's another name. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, anyway, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, uh, I think uh, I'll uh, give the floor back to our guest in the United States. And would the two ladies on the screen like to, uh, to, to, to give us any questions? Hello, um, I have a question. I'm, I'm in a very dry, high altitude area, and we have quite a few cases for our small town because we're a tourist area. And already um, someone I know is very ill, has had a fever for over a week, and we can't get the fever down. And uh, so I'm wondering if, if the herbs for dampness apply, you know, to if, if living in such a dry area would make a difference and you would want to use more um, heat clearing or um, less damp resolving herbs for this case or for people in my area. Hey, 例如我们这次的疫情的主要在区域是武汉 uh, Dr. Zhang Bui says uh, China is a big nation and uh, uh, Wuhan uh, was the epicenter of the uh, uh, outbreak and uh, it was raining and uh, in a warm winter and, uh, and in traditional Chinese philosophy and traditional Chinese uh, TCN philosophy, uh, the cause of this illness is uh, a wetness evil, it's called a uh, shu evil. Or damp, damp, dampness, yeah. 而我们国家的甘肃、青海 all right, so uh, in other areas, in Gansu province and Qinghai province, where the uh, altitude is high, uh, it has different kind of uh, symptoms called zao xie. It's uh, opposite to shu xie. Shu xie means wetness, and uh, zao xie means dry and hot. Dry heat. Dry heat. Okay. Heat, yes, heat. 但是从现在看呢, 我们的青海省没有死一例, 没有一例死亡患者, 他们的重症病人也相对少。是不是可以推测在赵些是比较轻的地方,病情比较轻,可能有那么一个推断。so uh, in Qinghai, uh, there's no no one uh, died from the illness, and there's less uh, severe cases. So maybe we can have a conclusion that uh, the altitude and the uh, the uh, uh, like climate there has some something uh, like some element that has something to do with the uh, COVID nineteen illness. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for that question. And uh, uh, all right, if currently you don't have uh, any more questions, uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I, I will check with our uh, Chinese expert. Do you have any questions for, for your American? Colleagues, uh, if you do, I, I think you may raise your questions to them. Uh, so we want to learn something about uh, uh, the the real uh, how to see what what happened in USA now. 
uh, is it is it serious, severe, and uh, or is it just under control? Uh, maybe I can answer that question. So right now, I don't think American control disease it control disease. It's, it uh, I think the number will will double or maybe triple in the future one month. Because right now. Uh, even the CDC just accept that they will have the free test for COVID-19. And as I mentioned before, the people who have confirmed COVID-19 with mild symptoms, they only stay at home to do self-quarantine. Um, so that's that's why we said that there's a huge market that the TCM can work on prevent, preventive medicine for the COVID-19. That, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. something for our cat. Right now, it definitely looks like there are isolated cases in the United States, and that is primarily because we have no capacity to test. Um, I work for one of the largest hospital systems in my state, and we are only testing people who are so ill they need to be admitted into the hospital. We are presuming that everybody with an upper respiratory infection is in fact positive and treating them from the standpoint of asking them to self-quarantine. Um, and in my state, they declared a, a national, um, emer you know, a state emergency and the restaurants and um, fitness clubs, movie theaters, those have all been closed. Restaurants can have pickup food, but uh, not dining in. Um, I suspect that in the next couple of weeks, when we actually have tests, that we'll be able to, um, uh, sorry about that, that we will be able to get a better number of how many people are infected, and it's going to look like it exploded. So I don't, I don't think that really understand just how uh, how infect, how much infection there is right now. Okay, wish the TCM pr protect you. Wish the God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, my sincere gratitude for both the uh, experts from the United States and China. I think this is a very useful uh, dialogue for uh, the people uh, of the both sides and I'm also very proud that uh, TCM plays a role in the combat against uh, COVID-19. Uh, again, thank you very much for your effort, uh, for this uh, useful, helpful communication uh, and I hope your dialogue uh, is also useful for the people who watching our live stream on CGTN and uh, tomorrow we'll have another uh, similar consultation meeting and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.